Consumers count on the good, the bad, and the ugly to help make informed decisions about a product or service. But we've discovered some local companies are putting clauses in their contracts, trying to prevent certain posts by putting a muzzle on customers. Let's go this way. Rebecca Garcia is working to support her son in every way she can. All right, give me 10 push-ups now. His struggle with weight is an emotional topic. It's been an issue off and on, um, but mainly when I look at my son, it's I could see it being an issue even at that young age. And so um, I thought, hey, let's let's uh, get a hold of it now. Intrigued by an ad for fast fit body sculpting, which promises surgical weight loss results without the surgery, she and then nine year old Nehemiah, they expressed that it was for all ages went for a consultation at Fast Fit's Centennial Hills location, where she signed five-page contracts for herself and her son. When you spend all that money and... And how much did you spend? About $10,000. About $10,000. That's quite an investment. It was an investment in my son, for my son so that we could do this journey together. The Fast Fit program combines certain technologies along with modified diet, aerobic exercise, and taking supplements like magnesium. When Rebecca didn't see results, she began to believe it was too good to be true. Although, you know, we would walk in together and, you know, lay down on this mat, and I was thinking that all these technologies was going to, again, supplement and kickstart my son's weight loss journey and nothing. She pondered sharing her experience with others by posting an online review. It says she stopped before her fingers hit the keyboard after consulting with her lawyer. They are preventing the community from voicing their opinions about their services. In October, in Clark County District Court, Las Vegas consumer attorney George West filed this lawsuit against FastFit over what he calls a muzzle clause in the company's contract. It is illegal and deceptive in our state. The lawsuit accuses FastFit and its owner, Doug Zuko, of deceptive trade practices and consumer fraud. In court records, Zuko denies all the allegations. He told 13 Investigates his attorney advised him not to comment for our story due to the pending litigation. The company's contract states that consumers will not disparage FastFit in any way, including verbally, in public, or on social media, if they do not follow the outcome outlined program. It also says FastFit can come after the customer for damages. It's not like you just can't do this. It's if you do, we can sue you and then you can pay for our damages and potentially our attorney's fees. West says it doesn't matter whether consumers follow FastFit's outlined program because in 2017, state lawmakers gave Nevada consumers the absolute right to leave a non-defamatory, negative, or adverse review. And even though Rebecca signed the contract... It is not only illegal, it's absolutely 100% unenforceable. But FastFit isn't the only business to include a muzzle clause in its contract. They are becoming more prevalent, even though there's laws against them. There's actually a federal law against it, too, that reads very similar to Nevada's. Last year... Just a poor experience all around. 13 Investigates exposed Green Care Pool Builder after working with former federal criminal investigator Kay Dean... It's a pretty egregious case. To expose Green Care's fake five-star reviews. After that report, we learned of this clause in Green Care's contract. Paragraph 14 states Green Care customers agree that they will not make or publish or cause to be made or published any disparaging information on the internet, any public domain or otherwise. After an unsatisfied customer posted this negative review online, Green Care co-owner Tim Hanlon left this voicemail message. Could you please remove that review that you put up on Yelp? Um, item 14 in your contract, you're actually in breach of contract by putting that review up. But that is the cost of business. People have a right to express their opinions and factually tell people why they weren't satisfied. West says muzzle clauses harm both consumers and the business marketplace. When we reached out to Green Care about their clause, managing partner John Reese thanked us for bringing it to his attention, saying it would be immediately removed. 
Reese wrote, it was written over 10 years ago by our attorney. He put it in the arbitration section of the contract, which all contractors have. I have also reached out to some of our fellow contractors to make them aware. As for Rebecca Garcia and her son, instead of fast fit, they're relying on fast feet. You gotta keep up with your mom. Taking their weight loss journey hand in hand. You tired? No. One step at a time. Rebecca's lawsuit is proceeding through the court system and it's currently set for trial in May of 2025. As muzzle clauses become more prevalent, here's what you can do as a consumer. If you're doing business online, a muzzle clause could be hidden in the terms and conditions, which most of us don't read, but it's important that you do read every line of any contract before you sign it. That being said, remember that if it's a Nevada business, consumers can't agree to a muzzle clause because it's illegal in our state and therefore unenforceable. If a company or contractor is trying to muzzle you, you may want to think twice before doing business with them. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.